Kaylee, explain what your wife has done with your child for Eliza's party this weekend. So um, I'm going to be out of town. So we have a sitter that's going to be staying at the house who's been quarantining. She sits for this other family uh, in the neighborhood. So she's going to actually take my son and my four-year-old daughter to Bert's house because um, Tiffany, Bert's girlfriend, her daughter is having a birthday party, a mermaid-themed birthday party. So my wife had to get my daughter Maxwell a mermaid outfit to go along with the theme. Now, my son is not going to get a mermaid outfit. <laughs> so my wife went ahead and custom ordered him a T-shirt that says Mermaid Security. <laughs> <laughs> how freaking cute is that? I, so, that just establishes how cool she is. So why does Kaylee need to apologize this week? So this week, the envelope is filled with four different reasons why you should have to apologize. Um, is there anything that you think you need to apologize for now before I just randomly pull one out? Yeah, I can't. Well, <laughs> I, I, I had to. <laughs> what, 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 what was that? <laughs> Uh, there were a few maybe um, indiscretions this weekend that I, I don't know if that's what she chose as a reason, but um, I, I don't I don't want to spoil the. Um, yeah, yeah, I could probably think of a few. Okay, just write down the subject matter, the one you think you have to <laughs> apologize for, and then I'll pull one out. And we'll see if they match up. Okay. Oh jeez. Okay, yep. uh, tell me, I need a pen. No, thank you, sir. <laughs> All right. Don't uh -huh. tell us what it is. I'm so excited. <laughs> we'll see if they match up. I love how he, do, he just malfunctions like as a person. Uh -huh. Where you're like, "What did you think you did this week?" And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." He sounds yeah. like dial-up connection. <laughs> 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 All right. The apology that I pulled out of the envelope, Kaylee, is. I am pretty sure he referred to me as fatty. <laughs> wow. So, wow. Okay. Oh, wait. He got it. Yes. He just held, a a, he held up a sign it's that a says match. weight, as in her weight. Yay. Not like wait time, but weight as in her weight. Okay. okay. So, I am pretty sure he referred to me as fatty. Okay. Let's go. So oh. let me just start by saying this. I would never speak to my wife in that manner. I think my wife is hot as hell, and I don't talk to my wife like that. It was a but misunderstanding. Didn't you, but Kaylee, uh -huh. Yes. Hold on. <laughs> didn't you tell your wife to F off recently? Ooh. Yeah, I did last week. Okay. Last so week. it's not I, out of the realm of possibility that you would say this. Yeah, no, that is. That is out of the realm of possibility. I trust me, I would not say that. I'm <laughs> did, not that dumb. And my, you know, my memory is bad, but didn't and I don't at one refer point to people as fatty. That's didn't at one he's, point you say, he's like, like, I say thick. Yeah, yeah didn't I you say get thick? Like, bring your thickness thick. over here. You said that to her, right? Yeah, like, what? get that thickness over here. I said, baby, you're looking thick. Why don't you come and sit on it? That, that's what I said that, <laughs> that one time. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. But that oh, was a God. term of endearment. That's different. Yeah, yeah that's, that's different. That was a compliment a, among compliments. All right, so this is not a compliment. Then you're saying, I am pretty sure he referred to me as fatty. So here was <laughs> the situation, okay? We were in the kitchen. I have a look at Chris. I can just feel her just <laughs> staring through me. Okay. So we were in the kitchen. We have a, four dogs. One of them is this little black furball. She's a Pomeranian and her name is Palmer. So the last I had looked, Palmer had food in her bowl. Okay. Then I noticed Palmer was hovering around my feet with barely any food in the bowl. So I'm like, okay, Palmer, I'll go get you some more food. So I go and fill the bowl up with food. I come back. Now, granted, Palmer is very, very small, and I am looking down at her towards the ground. I pour the food in the bowl. Now my wife's leg, just the legs I'm looking down, <laughs> is in the picture, okay? Mm-hmm. 
And I'm like, okay, fatty. And as soon as I said that, I heard the crinkling of like a clear. You ever get those cookies from Publix or any grocery store that makes all that <laughs> noise when you open it up? It's like a clear yeah. container. Yep. Well, yeah. as I look up and after I said that, Aaron is stuffing a cookie in her mouth. <laughs> So the timing like, of it. Oh, my God. Like, you I was like, oh, I was not talking to you. <laughs> I was talking to the dog. <laughs> like, she, and she had her lips around this cookie. And I'm like, baby. And she just looked at me and took the cookie out of her mouth. I'm like, no, continue eating it, please. It's not you. <laughs> I'm talking to Palmer. <laughs> So, needless to say, <laughs> she, it, it, yeah, she could have m- misunderstood that it, the timing it couldn't have been worse. It was horrible. <laughs> so, you want to go on record as saying that you did not call Aaron a fatty. You were indeed talking to your animal. I was yeah. body shaming the dog. I was body yeah. shaming the dog. I mean, exactly. You know how much better that is. Yeah. You just happened to be shoving a cookie in your mouth at the same time. Oh, stop, <laughs> Kaylee. Stop. But baby, hey, somebody take the shovel from him. Take it from his hand. <laughs> baby, I'm sorry if you thought that I was talking to you, but you know I wouldn't talk to you like that. Love you. Yeah. This is The Bird Show.